Hi guys. It is a dark and stormy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. I am happy to report that Florida is getting pounded today. Hallelujah. Sitting here in my uh, Alaska parka and my sheepskin boots here on this gloomy but refreshing Sunday, April 11th, 2021. And uh, it was a pretty easy, easy pickings on today's Chronicle of the Collapse right here in Yahoo News today, right here in Yahoo News from good old CBS News. I notice I'm featuring more and more stories, doomer porn stories from uh, CBS News recently. I wonder if uh, CBS News has hired a doomer. A lot of people don't realize this, but Walter Cronkite was a major doomer. Of course, they kept him muzzled, but in his private life, uh, Walter Cronkite understood back in the 1960s exactly uh, where we were headed, and Walter Cronkite could have written this story in the 1960s if he had been allowed to be a little more honest. So take it away. CBS News. This is by Sophie Lewis, whoever she is. Earth's most beloved creatures headed toward extinction under current population trends, study shows. Hmm. Snow leopards in the Himalayas, lemurs in Madagascar, and elephants in Central Africa. Some of Earth's most beloved creatures are on a path to extinction, a new study shows, thanks to current population trends. Unless humans stop breeding, <clears throat> researchers say the planet's biodiversity will suffer devastating consequences. Uh, okay, guys, I, I'm going to stop here. I, I was thinking about uh, carrying on with this uh, April Fool's charade 10 days later. Obviously, CBS News and Yahoo News did not print that story. They never will print that story. Uh, when, e when every one of our fellow Earthlings uh, gets blown into oblivion because people will not stop breeding. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so we're going to read the story uh, as it was actually written. And as I'm reading this, I, what I try to do on, on this channel, a, a little more with a feather approach than a two by four approach like some other people do in the Doomosphere, we try to use a lighter approach trying to, I, I'm, I'm trying to teach you folks how to uh, read the main, read between the lines of the mainstream media holding a BS detector button in one hand and a no shit Sherlock button in the other. How the same story, uh, particularly stories about the collapse of a planet, the unfolding and escalating collapse of a planet, uh, in the 21st century is represented in the mainstream media. You have the no shit Sherlock side of the story that uh, every one of our fellow earthlings is heading directly into the toilet. But then of course they will never uh, say the reason why. It is because there are too many humans on the planet and then they will, of course, they will go into this apocalyptic hopium, uh, talking about all the solutions to all of the problems uh, facing every one of our fellow Earthlings. There is one solution which will solve every one, well, not at this point, but the vast majority of our fellow Earthlings' problems, and that is making planet Earth a human exclusion zone. So anyway, 
we're going to read the story and then come back at the end with some wrap-up remarks for anybody who does not understand how to read the mainstream environmental news. <clears throat> Take it away again, CBS News. Earth's most beloved creatures headed toward extinction under current emissions study shows. Snow leopards in the Himalayas, lemurs in Madagascar, and elephants in Central Africa. <clears throat> Some of Earth's most beloved creatures are on a path to extinction, a new study shows thanks to current greenhouse gas emissions. Unless humans stop pumping carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, researchers say our planet's biodiversity will suffer devastating consequences. In a study published Friday in the journal Biological Conservation, scientists warned that some of the richest concentrations of plants and animals on Earth will be, quote, irreversibly ravaged, irreversibly ravaged by global warming <coughs> unless countries make a real effort toward their goals made under the 2015 Paris Climate Treaty. <coughs> yes, they report a high danger for extinction in almost 300 biodiversity hotspots if temperatures rise three degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. <clears throat> Under the Paris Agreement, nations promised to keep warming well below two degrees Celsius. But even if these commitments are honored, temperatures are still expected to exceed three degrees Celsius before the end of the century. Okay, we, you know, you can stop you know, all of this, you know, when are we going to drop the crap about unless we do this, unless we do that. Uh, there is no way the Paris Climate Agreement is going to come anywhere close to uh, this absolute joke. Uh, goal, uh, this unenforceable uh, BS goal, and so since there is no way it's going to happen, then everything they say in the article is going to happen. But uh, there's still another layer of the onion nowhere mentioned uh, that we have to get Book Hermit to come on and explain the other layers of the onion. But before we get to the uh, what I would call the Book Hermit school of the collapse of a planet, which I agree with Book Hermit, uh, we're going to finish out the mainstream media's uh, tutorial on how the planet's going to collapse. Collapse. So. Which species will be hit hardest? Scientists point to endemic species, which are those plants and animals found exclusively in specific locations, like one country or one island. Animals like snow leopards and forest elephants. They found that endemic land species, specifically in biodiverse hotspots, are nearly three times as likely to suffer losses due to climate change than species that are more widespread and ten times more likely to go extinct than invasive species. This is lead author Stella Maines. Quote, Climate change threatens areas overflowing with species that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. The risk for such species to be lost forever increases more than tenfold if we miss the goals of the Paris Agreement. I would change one word of that sentence. When we miss the goals of the Paris Agreement. Uh, that's the only question. There is no if remaining in the debate. 
the only debate is I was reading just last week that some climatologists are, are saying in the next, what, four years we're going to, uh, but it's going to happen. Um, not all species face the same threat. In mountain regions, 84% of endemic species face extinction if Earth warms another two degrees, while that number rises to 100% on islands. <clears throat> Overall, more than 90% of land-based endemic species and 95% of marine species will be adversely affected. Mediterranean marine species are particularly vulnerable because they are trapped in an enclosed sea. Uh, explains co-author Mark Costello, quote, by nature these species cannot easily move to more favorable environments. Hmm, do you think so? <clears throat> Two out of three species in the tropics could perish due to climate change alone. And we're going to get back to this. Two out of three species in the tropics could perish due to climate change alone and safe havens in biodiversity hotspots, which conservationists have worked to establish for years to protect these species, may prove useless in the face of climate change. Said co-author Mariana Vale, quote, Unfortunately, our study shows that those biodiversity-rich spots will not be able to act as species refuge from climate change. <clears throat> Scientists say every one-tenth of a degree matters to avoid the devastating consequences of a mass extinction event, but carbon dioxide and methane levels in the atmosphere continued to rise in 2020, despite the uh, economic uh, slowdown, despite uh, the fact that we were not in an El Nino year and we're actually in a little bit in the La Nina year, uh, carbon dioxide and methane levels in the atmosphere continued to rise last year and they will rise, continue to rise this year and next year and next year with CO2 levels reaching their highest point in 3.6 million years, according to the National Oceanic <clears throat> and Atmospheric Administration, quote, the 2020 increase is likely to remain one of the largest in the entire record. But of course, uh, of course, it will be eclipsed by the 2021 increase. Uh, will be the next one of the largest in the entire record. So anyway, guys, you know, good, good for CBS News and Yahoo News for putting this story out. Uh, but of course, what is nowhere mentioned with the possibility, except for that one term, climate change alone, nowhere in this story does it mention that with no help from climate change, we are going to annihilate every, you know, virtually every single one of our fellow earthlings uh, off the face of the planet. Uh, if, if climate change was nowhere in the horse race of the nine planetary boundaries, if there were only eight horses instead of nine horses, the eight planetary boundaries, namely habitat destruction, uh, would do, it would take, it might take a couple of decades longer, and, and the flip side of that is, as Book Hermit will gladly point out, by the time 
climate change, which I call the dark horse in the horse pack uh, of, uh, of the collapse of everything, uh, by the time climate change surpasses the other horses and, and the other horsemen of the apocalypse, every one of our fellow earthlings will be gone already with no help from climate change. But uh, then the flip side of that, if, the, if climate change were the only horse in the race and you got rid of the other eight, climate change alone, the one horse will render uh, all of these, all of our fellow earthlings extinct with no help from the other eight horses. This is the doomer trap that, that we're in. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't, it, it's not a question of if anymore, guys. It's a question of when and exactly how, uh, you know, as, as more and more species uh, disappear into oblivion, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit, you know, minor details on what drove them to extinction. Uh, which one of the planetary boundaries we crossed as humans. There is one reason that uh, we are in a six mass extinction event. Well, there's eight billion reasons we are in a mass extinction event right now, uh, which you will not uh, see anywhere. It is the driver of every single one of the nine planetary boundary crossings. Uh, that, what have we crossed for? Uh, there are too many humans on this planet. And as long as humans are on this planet, uh, every single year, more and more of our fellow Earthlings will be off the planet and eventually humans will join them. Uh, I am not one of these near-term human extinction uh, doomsayers, uh, these clueless morons acting like humans are going to be extinct in the next 10 years. As much as I wish that were true, uh, there are going to be more humans uh, on this planet 10 years from now uh, as their uh, as there are now, which is the main reason there are going to be fewer of our fellow Earthlings on this planet in 10 years from now. Now, 50 years from now, I don't know. But at some point, uh, by our own hand, we are going uh, to commit collective suicide and drive the human race uh, to extinction, but by the time that happens, uh, this will be such a plundered planet, uh, it's going to be up to uh, what? The jellyfish. It's going to be all up to the jellyfish uh, to repopulate this planet, because jellyfish seem like they're doing pretty good uh, dealing with us humans. But anyway, the rain seems to have actually tapered off before the next violent thunderstorm blows through here. I need to take the little dog on a walk to go pee. And I suggest you get out there and take your little dog on a walk to go pee while you still can. Bye guys.